decided to retire from public life after giving 40 years of service to Westport and uh, beyond. I would like to say a special thank you to the management and staff and all the artists who I've met here over the years. I'd like to remind people of the interim. I would also like to remind people of the implications of what is happening now at local level and how it might impact on the customs house. The Arts Council have now indicated that they will not be in a position to fund us in 2014. That coupled with the advice of the town council will leave a huge void in the finances of the customs house and that will be a challenge for the, for the incoming board next year. So the town councillors uh, who are here uh, and who are going forward to be elected to Mayo County Council, I would ask them to keep the customs house in their minds at budget time at county council level. Mm -hmm. Because without the increased financial support, it would make life here at the customs house more difficult and challenging. Now, the artists, uh, the artists in the exhibition. In this exhibition, we've worked from the artists working upstairs in studios during the year, which includes Andrea's Warren and guest artists from Friends Exchange in 2013. We've had a very busy exhibition program over the last year. Here we have examples of hope for most of those artists. The printmaking studio also has continued to be busy, and we have worked here with some of the artists who have been involved in working here. And I would like to thank Jenny Gibbons, who, who uh, heads the classes here for, for the, the printmaking studio. As we have 40 years, 48 artists involved in the customs house at various levels, I will not attempt to name them, but forgive me if I mention one group who have participated in weekly workshops here, and there are seven participants from Caribbean Enterprise. These workshops are part of a county, county wide initiative from RS O'Connor. Mayo County Council to, fi to facilitate participation in the arts for those with disabilities under their program, Upstart 2013, which marks International Disability Day, and also by Caribbean Interest in Enterprises, Customs House Studio, and Aragon Foundation International. I'd also like to thank Caroline Masterson and Grady O'Reilly for their input into those classes also. It's also, it's a, it is always encouraging to see work of this quality being produced on an ongoing basis by artists <coughs> here in the West We spoke for many years of the potential of arts and culture as an important aspect in developing Westport as a quality tourist destination. We look forward to continue to, continue to provide support for artists, local communities and visitors to Westport. It has been encouraging to see continued support from the local community for the work of the artists. Visitors of the town have also showed considerable interest in the exhibition throughout the year. And I'm sure that over the next couple of weeks of the New Year holiday period, this exhibition will also prove an attraction. Yeah. On behalf of the board of Customs House Studio, I would like to, to acknowledge the generous support from Mayo County Council, Westport Town Council, the Arts Council, uh, Hubbard, and from the private sector and ongoing uh, sponsorship and support from the Henham and various printing group. I'd like to say a special thank you to Anne McCarthy, Arts Officer of Mayo County for the Council, for her continued support for the work carried out here in the Customs House. I'd also like to especially thank the staff, Linda Ryder, Cora Quigley, and Caroline Masterson. A special thank you to you, John, our manager. You've always <coughs> been on hand to give help to everybody. I would like to thank the artists for their work throughout the year and to congratulate them all on their achievements. And I invite you all to say, please take time to have a good look around. You may even find an appropriate Christmas present here tonight. I know you will all enjoy this exhibition and I'd like to wish each and every one of you a happy, holy, peaceful Christmas. And I would like to declare this exhibition open. <laughs> Thank you very much. Just two uh, <coughs> quick announcements. On behalf of Conor McKeown, the house photographer, I would like to try to get all of the artists who are exhibiting this evening together for a photograph. Thankfully, all 48 people aren't here. So, <laughs> those few of you here, it would be good if we can try and get a photograph of you together. Uh, the other announcement is, for any artists, or anyone actually, Interested in visiting Derry this day week, 
to see the Turner Prize exhibition. There's a bus going, and there is, organized by the Mayor Artists Network, there's flyers on the window over there with details, and it's a chance uh, for a one day, one day flying visit to Derry. See that show. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.